just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Northern, Northern Illinois, Illinois will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Quick throw to the tight end. Pretty nice pick up here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. Nice run there. Good run by the halfback. That'll be good enough to move the chains. He got by a couple of defenders and made it to the sticks for the first down. Out of bounds, around the 40-yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. Here's an opening. Makes it out to about the 46. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. Now he's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in and he's got space. Dives forward. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. From the 36-yard line, second down. Got a man, watch out here. He's tackled in the open field. They get about seven yards on the pass and pick up a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. You can't ask for much more than that. It was a great read by the quarterback there to take the snap and throw it quickly to get the first. And he just gets rid of it. They tried to fool him by running the same play again. Well, fooled no one there, Brad. This is the ninth play of this drive. They come out on an empty backfield. He's tackled around the 31-yard line. That was a designed quarterback draw, and it results in a loss of around two. From the 31-yard line, third down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And a quick throw. Tackle at about the 21. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. Fires out to his wideout. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. on the extra point. It was a 12-play, 75-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of 
this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Huskies have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week, and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. When you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. The halfback picks up a yard. They push him out right around the 34. Brought down at the 30. The penetration by the defense was so good on that play that it didn't matter who the ball carrier was. Anyone would have been brought down for a loss. to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. Well, the last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. Number 21 was the intended receiver on the play. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 37. Toledo is up seven. Bruin, Bruin. Throws right, intercepted. They'll bring him down at the 48. It's a good play when the corner can break up a pass, but it's even better when he can bring it in for an interception. So the old draw play gets him a good seven yards. Tackle made around the 43-yard line. They're not quite in field goal range, so this is a pretty important play on this drive. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. He's on the run. And he tackles him hard at the 28. around the 29-yard line. Did somebody miss an assignment there? I mean, this kid came in untouched. I don't know if it's the wide receiver or maybe the tight end. Somebody's got to be able to block that corner. He's going to make plays all day. From the 29-yard line, second down. Throws it. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, he's got the defense right where you want it. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. From the 13-yard line, first down. He's tackled right around the 10 yard line. And he's taken down right around the 12 yard line. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. They'll 
line it up again on third down. And they got him. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page. And they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Well, we've got a player down, and let's hope that's nothing serious. Somebody hit the upset alert button, because this one looks like it just might be heading in that direction. The Rockets with a touchdown lead. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. He gets it up, and it's good. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 7-3, Toledo. Northern Illinois to kick. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 28-yard line. Here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. From their own 28-yard line. It's second down. Toledo is up four. Throws, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Number nine, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. Hit on the throw. He caught it. And they make the stop at about the 35. The Huskies lost a player to an earlier injury, and unfortunately, it doesn't look like he's going to be able to come back today. He's out to the 30, and down he goes at the 32. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. He works the left for a nice game. Gaining four yards. That'll bring up third and inches. Yeah. Nice run to the outside. He makes it out to midfield. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. Knocked out of bounds at the 43-yard line. That's a game of seven. And this may be fourth down territory if they can't get a first down here. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Six-yard line. 
Now he pitches it. He's knocked out of bounds at the 31-yard line. That makes it second and six. Taken down around the 22 yard line. That makes it first and ten. He's got it with room to run. He's tackled around the 14 yard line. That makes it second and two. Nice run, and he's brought down. And they hit him in the backfield. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen. Maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. Two minutes to go in the half. Northern Illinois is going to use their first time out of the half here. And they'll run him again. Gets to about the 14-yard line. There's a strike complete. He's brought down in the open field. The offense is going to stay on the field and try to convert another fourth down. They try to get a head start there. Start. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still fourth, fourth down. down. Fourth down. This one should be makeable. Kicks away, and he's got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Toledo, up a point. <laughs> Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Good open field tackle. Look at the scramble now, and he can't get away from the pressure. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. And they get five yards from that completion. Not a bad play. They gain five yards out of it. They keep moving the defense back. Zips it to the back. Tackle right around the 46-yard line. The Huskies are going to call their second timeout. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. 
scrambling around. Pressure coming. Brought down at the 21-yard line. They'll bring him down to 39-yard line. We're going to halftime, and we've got a great game. The Rockets lead it by one. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to filling a close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half, and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreit and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense, as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And they get nice yardage on that run. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it first and ten. There's a fumble. Offense falls on him. Tackle made at the 43. And they're lucky to retain possession of the ball there. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Here comes the pressure. Quick strike to the back, no good. down the catch and he's got room here he gets hit out of bounds right around the 48 yard line good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession that's the right way to catch a pass Fires out to his wideout, and he's shoved out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. How about the big fellas up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. Looks middle, got his back, and down he goes at about the 23-yard line. That brings him second and five. Grabs it and hammers right there. He's got an opening. Gains his way to the seven yard line. 
makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Laterals back, gets to about the five yard line. two-point conversion. The Huskies had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. He sends this one deep. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Northern Illinois is continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's tackled right around the 32-yard line. That's good for a game of four yards. That makes it 33. a great tackle at the 35. Gets out to around the 45. That's good for being at 10 yards. That brings him second and nine. He fights forward to about the 46. And he's taken down right around the 42-yard line. From the 42-yard line, first down. Slides down to the ground. And he hits him hard at the 29-yard line. He's got the corner. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 13. Runs it right. Nice pickup. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. 
And this is the 13th play of this drive. Pulls it in and gets out of bounds. And they make the stop just outside the goal line. it for quarter number three. Folks, we got a great game on our hands. The Huskies with a touchdown lead. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Quick pass tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. From the one-yard line, third down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Touchdown, Rockets. The extra point to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Toledo to kick. Sends it sailing downfield. From his own goal line, he's to the 20. And he just got drilled. Kirk, I gotta ask you. Are these two offenses that anemic or are the defenses that good? I think it's a combination of both. I think both of these offenses have shown at times an ability to execute and put points on the board, but they're playing against two really good defenses. Well, here we are early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight ball game, and every possession is going to count from here on out. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws a laser across the middle. Good tackle there in space. He's taken down at the 44. Throws a strike over the middle. He's tackled at about the 31. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. And he can't get away from the pressure. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Mike 34, Mike 34, shoot, shoot, shoot. Green 9, green, go. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle at the 35 yard line. one's going deep to the end zone tipped away i think if he'd reached out a second later the receiver would have caught the ball that's perfect timing by the safety it's fourth down they'll call on the field goal unit it's up looks long enough and he splits the uprights Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. 
And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 30. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. I think it'll be very interesting to see how this quarterback makes decisions on this drive. It's a pivotal drive. They'd love a touchdown, but at the very least, he's got to manage this drive to at least get into field goal range. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Pick up by the halfback on the misdirection. That makes it second and six. Just throws this one away. Third down now, and they need to get it out to the 50. Tackled for a loss. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. And he has it on the corner. Fielded at the 19. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Less than three minutes in the game. And off on the draw. He's to the 40. Makes it to the 47. Throw to the back, it's incomplete. From their own 47 yard line. Second down. Fires out to his receiver. Brought down at the 36. Backs got it. And they push him out at the 18. Again with the run, he fights forward to about the 16. an end to the no huddle offense by calling timeout it's first down and they'll be looking for six points here less than two minutes in the fourth quarter touchdown huskies Extra points. 
So a seven-play, 72-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Huskies have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. They'll spread the field with five wide. Fires incomplete. This quarterback needs to be careful not to use his arm strength to try to force things because that's when mistakes happen. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. He throws right. And he's hit immediately. Excellent execution on one side of the ball that time. And it looks to me like the defense was in a little state of confusion. Let's see if they can pull themselves together. Got it with room to run. He goes out of bounds at the 47 yard line. That makes it second down. From the 47 yard line, it's second down. He zips it. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Slings it. They knock it down. Incomplete. You know, that actually might have been a break for the offense. Sometimes tip passes can linger in the air and get picked off. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 17-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. it to the halfback on the screen. Tackle made at about the 17-yard line. Toledo's going to have to use their second time out of the half. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. So the big blow comes from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. after a decent run up the gut. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. He might have a chance. He makes his way to about the 38. The play was very well conceived as they were able to get a decent gain in a first down. And so that's going to do it. The Huskies come out on top, 24-14. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. There was no doubt who the better team was today, Brad. Toledo actually played a good ball game today. They just didn't have the horses to match their counterpart. They need to start recruiting to build this program back up. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.